people need to start calling the corporations out. You do. Um, the Education Association, the Nursing and Medical Associations, um, science associations, hospital associations, that's who's ultimately uh, taking away your rights. They are. Listen to any hearings and you know it. Um, yeah, there, there's some big mistakes the government made with, I think, Biden mandating vaccines on federal employees, right? However, for the everyday sector, many of your companies did it and they're able to get away with it. And I'm, you're going to read in this and then the next page why this is happening. It might make you think twice about no, it's not just Biden. Because, see, the thing is, is that they tell you you have that constitution because the government can't do it to you. But when the government gets the corporations to do it and the corporations are running the show, well, then, because they're considered the free enterprise, they're allowed to tell you, we won't give you a job unless you get all these vaccines. We won't let you go to school unless you do all that. Does that seem like it's aligns with constant like that's what I've never understood for decades even when I was younger like how is it the employer can get away with violating my rights but the government can't well it's it's simple because they get the corporations to do it and unfortunately corporations you'd think that it they'd want to do the right thing they've earned they've 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 um They've created their American dream with all their houses and six-figure income. You'd think they'd want to help the people in their own country. Well, instead, they, they just want to destroy you, especially the middle class right now. So really, you need to start calling these associations out. Large corporations now exert unprecedented influence over policymaking and the media, but are unaccountable to voters or elected officials. Many corporations are so big that they wield more economic political power than national governments. In 2017, 69 out of the largest 100 economic entities in the world were corporations. Most of this power has been handed over to corporations by national governments. So the national governments tell them to do it. And it's not that they'll be in, they could make the right choice and not do it, but they, they go along with it. And maybe the government puts pressure on them, but look, they've been doing this for decades. They just get the right CEOs in place at the hospitals, make sure to put the right people in it, top of American Nurses Association, top of National Nurses United, American Medical. That, that's who ultimately controls everything. And then you get everything under one system, a monopolized system, and then it has all your health records. It knows everything about you. It can get in the way of you getting a job. It can, it, when it controls big tech, it can prevent an email from going through. You think it's not true? You better look into it. It's too much power. So most of this power has been handed over to the corporations by national governments. Free trade and investment treaties, for example, typically include Investor state dispute settlement clauses, which give corporations the right to sue governments over policies that might reduce their expected profits, such as domestic labor laws that mandate humane working conditions or rules that limit pollution. It's, it's uh, you know, I brought up the associations for a long time because they got on board with the whole um, open borders because it, it all your nursing and medical unions, they serve they served for profit. That's what they're about. If they, if we had a government that was ever ethical, but it's not just Biden, it, it's a ton of them that, that just haven't done the right thing um, and reined these corporations in or cut every, made more reg. If you put more regulation on corporations a ton, you wouldn't need any unions. But they, you have too many government officials that love the unions. But it doesn't serve the middle class. Even if you're in a union, it really doesn't. You're still getting screwed over. You're just being played. Uh, it's all about profit for these people. And that's the reason why they supported open borders, especially in healthcare. They will slowly start to bring in, as I've said in many videos, um, they will slowly start to bring in uh, uh, foreigners because they don't have to pay benefits. They're basically, you know, indentured servitude, cheap labor compared to what they have to pay Americans. They, they just, they, as much as the government hates you, all these organizations, unfortunately, at the top hate you too. 
Uh, some other ways it hurts you and helps the corporation and the globalists is trade. Free trade and investment treaties allow corporations and foreign investors to move in and out of countries in search of investor-friendly environments, places where taxes are lowest, labor, environmental, and health standards are weakest, and where most profit can be extracted for the lowest cost. Um, I don't think, I, this may seem harsh, but at this point I don't really give a shit. Um, I don't think that any free enterprise here should be allowed to get in bed with countries that oppress their people. If they're going to, then they should be made to leave this country. Oh, I know we have this free system. Yeah, that free system and that constitution isn't operating right because of corporations and really morally bankrupt CEOs and uh, medical nursing and education associations. Subsidies. In the hope of improving their economies by attracting and retaining big businesses, government, governments worldwide routinely hand out hundreds of billions of dollars in direct subsidies of transnational co uh, corporations through tax breaks, market access uh, programs, production subsidies, loan guarantees, and more. I, you know, there's always been this talk about we're going to fund more to this and that, and nothing ever gets better, right? Because it's not going to the right places. It serves the people at the top. It serves the government. All of that. You don't, there's so, like I've said for such a long time, all these layers that really aren't elected to any, American um, Medical Association, American Nerd, they have not been appointed or elected to anything. They've just taken on that role over time. But they should be deciding nothing. But when you then have CDC, H, uh, Health and Human Services, Public Health, all colluding with them, who does that hurt? Well, it hurts the average middle income earner. And it's done that to us for decades and decades and decades. But over that time, because they have so much power and we're just, you know, going to the ground trying to make a living and, you know, uh, just making it to the next paycheck, okay? Um, they're all, you know, with their six figures at the World Economic Forum, figuring out how they can take more of your freedom. Li aligning with oppressive countries at the United Nations while they write bullshit papers about how this will help everybody. But yet they haven't ho shown that they give a shit about anybody except their own wallets. I'm sorry to say that I really am. You would think that most especially American businessmen, and I'm not saying, of course, all businessmen. I'm talking about the people heading up hospitals, medical, and nursing associations, and the education system. The people heading up these, not just, the, not just at the federal level, those departments. I'm talking about the people they're all answering to and colluding with. The private sector, your hospital systems. Why did they want to hurt Americans? They did. They did. When you get when you keep employees, okay, and this has happened at more than one freaking hospital. When you go out of your way to keep employees that physically abuse a patient, physically more than once, and yet you have an entire hospital that has wrote incident reports and you do nothing except blame all of those people for targeting that person, yet it's on camera, then you're showing that you will go out of your way to protect the most disgusting people. And who do you think is heading up all these associations? Why do you think American Nurses Association blocks me? Because they know I'm speaking the truth. And yeah, will they ruin me? Sure they can. They control the digital system all of all these corporations do. Why do you think they wanted to get all your medical records under one system? Does it make any sense to even have HIPAA laws? Why should you? We, we have a monopolized health system that all runs on epic charting in any uh, hospital, okay? So every time there's a cyber attack, how does it protect by them all being monopolized? It puts everybody's health records um, at risk, doesn't it? But do, do they pay any price, those hospitals? No, the government protects them because they all freaking collude together to hurt the middle class. This is what globalization does overall. It, it causes environmental breakdown, erosion of democracy, loss of livelihoods. You see all of it. That's everything it does. So why would all those experts do this? Well, 
because as Trump has said in the past, these are sick people.